Disclaimer. It is your responsibility to back up all data. I take no responsibility if you mess up and your system fails. You do this at your own risk. Now, with that said, let's get started. To recap, I upgraded the memory from 4 gigabytes to 32 gigabytes. I upgraded the video card and I upgraded the CPUs from dual 2.66 gigahertz dual core processors to dual 3 gigahertz quad core processors. Now that I've made all these hardware upgrades in the About This Mac dialog window, the processor reads 2 by 3 gigahertz unknown. To correct this, so that it reads the actual processor specs, we need to update the firmware from Mac Pro 1.1 to Mac Pro 2.1. And here is the process. First thing you need to do is download the Mac Pro 2006-2007 firmware tool from this website. I've included a direct link to the page in the show notes below. Everyone says you need to have a login, but I just downloaded the file again just to make sure and I wasn't logged in. Once the download's complete, first open the install file by double clicking on it. Make sure that you read and understand the information displayed. But for those of you that aren't going to read it, to summarize it says, the upgrade will have the same hardware compatibility as the old firmware, but will also include some microcode and other bug fixes. Once you have read and understand the blurb, click the button labeled Upgrade to 2007 Firmware. You'll be required to type your password, so type your password. Then wait for about two minutes, but so that you don't have to sit here and watch it do all of that, I'm going to time lapse this really quick. A few moments later. Okay, once it's finished, a set of instructions pops up. Read this carefully. Writing it down would be a better idea. Caution. This update will take a few minutes. Do not shut down, restart, or disturb your computer in any way. You will render your computer completely inoperable. The first thing we want to do is shut down the system. Second, you're going to press and hold the power button until the power indicator flashes at you. Once it stops flashing, release the button. Then you're going to hear a long tone. The next step is where my system deviates a little bit because I have what is essentially a hacked Windows video card. My computer won't display the Apple splash screen with the status bar. After about two minutes, the normal login screen appears. Just log in normally. If you go into the system information, you'll see the model identifier says Mac Pro 2.1. And in the About This Mac dialog box, it now reads the processor as 2 by 3 gigahertz quad-core Intel Xeon, which is what I have in this computer. Now that your computer is officially registering as a Mac Pro 2,1 as seen here, there are two simple updates that you still need to make. Both can be downloaded from Apple.com. I have included the direct links to each one of these files in the show notes below. The first is an update to the boot ROM version. The blurb on the download page says, This update fixes several fan behaviors and boot camp issues. After the update, your boot ROM version will be mp21.007f.b06. The second update is the SMC firmware update. This update adjusts fan behavior in the Mac Pro. So once you make these updates, your screen should pretty much look the same as mine. Check out the show notes below for all of the download links. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. And to see more of my quick Mac tutorials, please hit the subscribe button.